When these two teams met in January, it was a two-point game. Today, it was even closer. UIC led for the majority of the game. IUPUI took a late lead at 75-74, but UIC would score the final basket of the game in the closing minute to win 76-75 as both teams win on the road in their season matchups this year. Alongside Bob Lovell, Greg Rakestraw, furious finish by IUPUI to go from 18 down to one in front. Just couldn't close it out in the final 60 no, seconds. No, they really couldn't, but did did a great job, as you pointed out, Greg, to get to that point. I think they were inspired defensively. They really got some uplifting plays there, knocked down some shots. Jalen Minette came up big for them. Uh, Ahmed Ishmael was large in the post. But, you know, this first half started out all UIC. Everything they did, they did it and did it well. Eight threes made in the first half by UIC, three of those by Tarkus Ferguson, two of those by Rob Howard and Godwin Bowen got it on the action as well. UIC led by as many as six in the first half. That play saw Cameron Justice pick up his third foul, and he would sit for the final seven minutes of the half. Jalen Manette carried a lot of the freight today offensively for IUPUI. Well, he did, and you saw you know, him knock down threes. Jack Hansen with the three here. They shot the ball better, but their three-point shooting was not that good. I think the dunk by Diggins was kind of an exclamation point on that first, uh, first half and how well they played. Offensive struggle for UIC in the second half. They would score just 26 points. IUPUI kept chipping away, kept doing good things on both ends of the floor. They would eventually take a lead, but again, it was one key turnover, one key layup that ended the game well, in favor of UIC. Right at the end, and you see the finish right there, basically, for the win by Marcus Adi, and uh, it got down to IUPUI not being able to make that shot at the end, and IUPUI with a great defensive stand for the layup. Jags now go on the road for their next two games. They'll be at Youngstown State on Thursday and at Cleveland State on Saturday. For Bob Lovell, this is Greg Rakestraw. Thanks for watching Horizon League Basketball on ESPN+.